oh yeah, a lot of y'all gonna get mad at me about this one. Mm -hmm. If you can't, can't feed your baby, yeah, yeah, then don't have a baby, yeah, yeah. Don't think maybe if you can't feed your baby. You'll be always trying. Stop that child from crying. Let me tell you something. Um, it's more to parenting children than just feeding them, clothing them. A lot more to, to that. First of all, they need discipline, love. Um, in that fact, in that order, <laughs> he need discipline first. Okay, rules, boundaries, and limitations. Your children need that. Okay? Now, I ain't telling you that because I think that's what they need. I'm telling you that because I know that's what they need. Okay? And as um, an elder on the planet, now I'm at the point now where I'm looking at these girls as having these kids that's letting them raise they self. And it's really, really, really becoming very disheartening. And it's, and it's very uh, disgusting. It's very disgusting. Now, a lot of y'all got kids that if I was a dude, I wouldn't want to be nowhere near y'all ass because your goddamn kids is too bad. You haven't raised them. Their fathers are nowhere in the picture. And if they are, they so weak that they don't think that having discipline and having some kind of regimen or uh, uh, um, how you say, some kind of protocol for your, a way for your children to act, that's a weak household. See, um, there was an extreme when you had some generations like maybe mine that said kids should be seen and not heard. I'm not that far, okay? But I do believe you should be seen and then get the hell on. Okay, when I'm talking to my friends, I don't want you all up in my face sucking up my conversation, okay? And when you're doing that, then I got to put you on and separate us. Because the kids is listening to whatever you say and do anyway. And every conversation, they don't need to be privy to. Some of y'all think y'all kids got to be involved in every damn thing that you do, but they don't. They don't need to be in all y'all conversations. They don't be need to know what you do. They don't need to be seeing all the men that come in and out of your damn house that have sex with you. They don't need to see none of that. Because you distort them. Okay? Hell, they traumatize enough when they walk in on their mama and daddy. And you coming up here every other day with some stranger. And talking about this your Uncle Blue. And this your Uncle John. Or this your Uncle So-and-so. You got to stop that behavior. I don't care who do it. I don't care what group do it. Don't tell me what white women do because I don't really care about them. I'm talking about what we can't, we can't afford to do that behavior no more. We got to stop that. Because we tra we, we're bringing out little heathens. Little heathens that's already going to be tracked for prison. You can already see it before they even get seven years old. Because they already cussing out adults. They already being disrespectful. They already don't know no boundaries. And you have perpetuated that you created this mess. And you owe society to fix it up. Every kid can't. Let me tell y'all. Every kid ain't going to be helped. Every kid can be helped. Okay? It all depends on how deep the damage. So for all of you uh, 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 bleeding hearts out there that's going to come at me talking crazy, there are some kids that can be helped. Let me give you an example. I used to work in the adolescent treatment center way, way, way back in the day. Getting my chops of um, what it's like to uh, work with disturbed young people. We had a young man in there that was nine years old. Okay? Not only did he try to fight all the staff. I mean, that was just an everyday occurrence that he fought every single day. People that he know he wasn't going to whoop. People that he know he couldn't whoop. He'd go into all these crazy uh, act out behaviors 
where you have to come, the nurse have to come and give him a shot. All right? Uh, he, be, he, he was in there. Um, first of all, let me say he befriended three other little boys. Okay, this is the boys unit, and these three boys have been um, convicted. Not well, he had been accused, been charged with murder of their, um, I think it was two year old, eighteen month old little cousin. They beat her to death. Okay. Um, they gravitated towards each other. Now, the little one that was in the group that uh, killed the uh, child, he had remorse. He, he's, uh, he's kept saying, am, am, am I going to be in trouble for this? Am, am, am I going to be in trouble? He kept saying it. The rest of them could care less what they did to that child. They burnt the baby with cigarettes. They stuck the baby with knives. They did all types of killing type of to kill the baby. Okay? So I knew these children was an aberration. I don't give a damn what nobody said. I handled them with a long tooth a spoon. I ain't want to hear that. Well, everybody needs help. No, there's too many good kids out here that, that need guidance that I can give them extra instead of giving it all to these. Because these are some damn losers. And these are some murderers already. So I don't have a lot of hope in them. Maybe it's somebody else out there that do. I don't. All right. So the, the little boy that I'm telling you about, he befriended them. And when he went home on a visit, he was still mad at his sister for what she did a couple weeks before or what got him in treatment because he did some things to her and it was just too much. And it, um, so he ended up um, in treatment. What he did when he went home on a visit was locked her and set her curtains on fire and locked her in her bedroom. The only reason he didn't kill her was because his mother uh, wasn't really sleeping. She got to get some water. And he was looking all crazy. Uh, like, she, what's, what's wrong with you? All of a sudden, the girl is screaming in the room. She tried to open the door. The door locked. Had a skeleton key. They bust the door open and the curtain was on fire. And then he was he never did move. So when the dad the dad came out, because they both came out, it was it was like a panic. And he was just sitting there. And the reason he had to go to stay there, and he's not allowed to go home on a home visit, because the dad tried to kill him, kicked him down the stairs. Did all types of stuff to him. Now he charged with abuse. Except the kid tried to kill his daughter. See. I know what happens to kids when they don't have no rules or boundaries or limitations. And you don't set none for them. I know what happened to them. I work with them every freaking day. If y'all, anybody out there know what I'm talking about? If you do, please. Give me your opinion. Don't be scared. Don't, don't. Whatever it is, whether you agree with me or you disagree, it don't matter. I want to hear you. I want to hear your comment. Please leave it below about these out of control, badass children who uh, ain't being raised at all. Some of them are being born to children. And they're letting them raise themselves. I need to hear y'all opinion. Holla back.